Uh, hello YouTube. This is my just making my first video. Just got to publish it, put it out there, and then I'll start really getting into it. But thought I'd do something before the end of the year. Um, so yeah, I mean the only people who are gonna watch this are people who already know me. But my name's Frank um, Lawton, and yeah. So this channel is just like. I've got uh, like big goals, but I'm not like a big guy, you know, I haven't done a lot and I'm not particularly like special or doing a lot at the moment, but I just suppose I have this like faith in, um, in people like that we have just an unlimited potential that we can get anywhere, we can do literally anything like if, I mean there's a like if you just look at my, it's my wall. Tony Robbins, Bruce Lee, Nelson Mandela. It's a few people I really look up to. Um, I suppose I'll do some stuff about them at some point. But yeah, I mean, I I just think if they can do whatever they're doing, then so can I, and so can anyone else. Um, and you notice as well with with those people, they still waste heaps of time. I mean, not as much as me, or you know, most people, but. Yeah, I mean that they could achieve even more than they already have, um, and so could I. So yeah, I have like a list of goals. Um, I do a lot of writing and thinking and talking about like all the stuff I want to do and all the stuff I'm interested in, but I don't take a lot of action. I um, I was like sort of half diagnosed with ADHD when I was about eleven or something. Um, so, you know, I, 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 I'm, I got a busy brain, but I'm not very good at, like, directing my attention and my energy to things, um, for an extended period of time, for an extended period of time, unless it's, like, really meaningful, like, just so obviously the thing to do, you know, there's, I just have so many things in my periphery that I'm gonna jump to, I'll start thinking about this, start thinking about that, which is helpful in a lot of ways, like, for creativity and lateral thinking and, you know, I have heaps of energy and passion and all of that, um, and I'm always excited, and I can bounce back, but, yeah, I find it very difficult to just commit, like, decide that something is important if it's not just really obvious, um, yeah, so, yeah, I suppose what I'll do is I'll publish videos, I'll post videos about my goals, my interests, I'll share a lot of the ideas I have because I do a lot of writing about um, culture, religion, psychology, um, lifestyle, and I do a lot of work on my own lifestyle, so um, diet is huge for me, fitness and well-being, like I used to want to just be like really buff, but I'm kind of over that now, just want to just have like a really great body for in terms of like function you know I just want to yeah I just want to be able to get whatever I need from my body you know and I want and I know I have heaps of belief and I think the science is like way yet to catch up on it but like the connection between body and mind is massive so um yeah healthy body healthy mind sort of thing that's important to me um I'm kind of like I've been into style and then I got a little nod into it and I just like yesterday started thinking about it again and I feel so good like it feels great to just walk around in something that you think looks cool um you know when you're still like attached to your identity I mean I have a big you know like one of my big goals is I'll see the amount of tangents I've probably gone on in this video um but like one of my massive goals is um is pretty much just straight up enlightenment right like I'm yet going too soon at just like Jesus uh Buddha you know probably Lao Tzu, uh, you know, into my, um, well, yeah, the set of people that, that inspire me and that I want to be like, I'm, and I, I know that that entails no identity, so this is how that's related to what I was just saying, like, um, dressing up's really good for my, like, self-image and my identity, but, um, it'd be super cool to just not even have one, <laughs> that's the goal. Um, which is a massive goal because like who like how many people have ever achieved that like fucking ten people I don't know but um but if they can do it so can I, I 
Yeah, I mean, why... So that's what I'm doing. Like, why do I want these things? Why am I interested in... All of the, yeah, why do I have these goals for myself? So why, why am I even making this YouTube channel? Well, I guess my... I mean, I do a lot of introspection about this sort of stuff. Like, I have a, I created a Google Doc. Um, and I think I'm going to move all this stuff to paper because I'm trying to get off the computer. But, um... Yeah, I have a Google Doc just all about myself and like why I do things and what's important to me and what kind of person I want to be and have been and I reframe my stories. A lot of stuff I got out of um, actually Dean Graziosi's book. Um, what's it called? Millionaire Success Habits. I said it like that because I know like a lot of people don't take them super seriously because just of the Facebook ads and stuff. But the book just had some fucking solid information. He's real tight with Tony Robbins, who I got mad respect for. Um, so, yeah, so just, like, reframing my life and figuring out what's important to me. And I, I think, that, like, at least the good side of me, what's motivating me to have these massive goals and to, and just with everything good that I want to do um, for myself and especially for the world is, um, is sort of just this feeling like, like, I've been given everything. Do you know what I mean? Like, every opportunity. I mean, I'm not super lucky. I mean, I think I am, but comparatively, or how someone else might see it, I'm not, like, super-duper lucky. I, you know, just kind of average-ish life. I mean, I'm super, you know, grew up in New Zealand, which is dope. Um, never really experienced poverty or massive disadvantages, but I'm also not super rich. I'm not, like, super attractive. I'm kind of short. Um, you know, if things have gone bad for me, good for me in terms of, like, my family, parenting, and just, you know, I, there's nothing super special about my life, but but everything I could possibly ever need in my environment, and I don't know how I got to this belief system, but, like, everything I could possibly ever need is, is there for me. It's supplied for me, like, like, it's all about how I, I take the things that happen to me. I feel like this just the life that I've been given, the fact that I am alive and I'm here. It's just this amazing, perfect gift that I just always fail to appreciate and reciprocate. And what motivates me is making the most of this opportunity that I've been given and continue to be given in, in every given moment. Like, got a um, David Goggins listen to his audiobook right now, he's dope, uh, quote on my mirror here, hours and days evaporate, I'll show you the mirror, um, hour, uh, hours and days evaporate like creeks in the desert, I might have to mirror this, um, this video recording back, because it's probably mirrored, and I've got two minutes left, not super prepared for this, um, but yeah, it's just like, every single second, it's like this incredible opportunity to make the right decision, to do the right thing, to have an incredible life, to be so happy to contribute so much every single second that happens I'm, I'm it's never going to come again and it's perfect right it's insofar as there's always a, a right way for me to respond to it um and i just i just want to make the most of this life while it's here i want to give back what i'm constantly given which i'll never be able to do but i yeah i just just don't want to like die having wasted this you know what i mean like, having lived in this illusion that, like, life's hard for me, or... Yeah, it's just... You only fucking live once, you know? Um, so that's really what motivates me to do all of these things. Um, and a lot of them, they sort of converge on that goal. A lot of my separate things, fitness, health, well-being, also, like, social skills, enlightenment, a lot of my research, um, all of that... And why I'm making this YouTube video, and I've got 45 seconds left, uh, why I'm making this YouTube video is, I, I want, well, like, you see all of these incredible successful people and you just think there's something different about them. I just want to be fucking raw. I mean, firstly, it's an exercise for myself and vulnerability, you know, just like to show people the worst of me and the best of me and just to be open and I hopefully will build amazing connections with people from that. But I just want people to see someone go from, like, fucking zero, which is where I am right now, to be frank, to, like, hero, you know? I just want to s people to really observe what's going on. Um, I don't want to just chuck out, like, rules and tips. Like, I just want people to see what's happening for me and really experience that story anyway. That's, like, I've got three seconds.